I have no idea how Cody and I always align on the technologies that we use, but it's so funny. I just saw this video from like nine hours ago. Apparently, he started using 10 stack start. Well, guess what? I've also been using 10 stack start lately, and that is unexplainable. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, in this video, I wanted to address something that he's talking about, and that is how routing and defining pages and layouts in 10 stack start or i should say 10 stack router is a bit more versatile and it could be confusing especially coming from next.js so i wanted to show you how you can create pages and layouts in 10 stack start just like you would in next.js the code i'm about to show you is part of my trivia's application so go ahead on github Find my trivious application if you want to play with, around with it. I'm going to drop a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But let's just dive in. So Cody in his video mentions a flat file-based routing. And that's basically defining routes with, uh, with just dots between them. Like auth.signin, uh, auth.signup, etc. I don't have that in my application. But yeah, basically imagine a nested routing structure like app slash auth slash sign in instead of slashes those would be dots and you can define layouts by using pathless routes which are defined uh, with underscore prefixes so underscore auth this is a layout right it defines the auth layout and with the outlet we put the page uh, of the whatever it is sign in sign up we put the page here and in order to use the layout we just prefix these two pages or routes with underscore off. So that's how we basically achieve layouts, right? This is fine. But as I mentioned, I want to show you how you can achieve a Next.js like uh, routing and layouting in 10 stack start. So check this out. You can keep the folders, and I like folders, you know, it's, it's clearer uh, for, the, for the routes. But instead of layout.tsx or the pathless uh, underscore routes, you can use route.tsx. This is a named thing in 10 stack start or 10 stack router. Route.tsx is basically a pathless route. It's not going to change the URL or the path of your route, but it's still a component that you can use to wrap any child or children routes uh, that proceed from that point, which is basically layout.tsx, right? Here's the outlet. We put everything inside of the main. There's also a navigation defined at the top. Classic layout, right? Page.tsx in Next.js is what index.tsx is in 10 stack start. So this will create that little slash in this case because we are in the app directory. But yeah, this is a standard page. Then we have the games and game ID with a dollar sign because it's a dynamic segment. And then another index.tsx or read page.tsx if you're coming from Next.js. And there's the URL, right? App, games, game ID, and then we have index.tsx. Okay, so with the route.tsx and index.tsx, you can basically treat them as layout.tsx and page.tsx. But if you really want to step, you know, take this further, here's what you can do. You can go to the TSR config JSON file. If you don't have this, just feel free to create it and then set the route token to be layout and set the index token to be page, okay? This will allow you to go and rename all of the index.tsx to page.tsx. There's one more page and one more page and all of the route tsx files to layout.tsx files, okay? This is literally just like Next.js. So I'm going to rerun this application and we're gonna try it out and we'll see that it's everything is the same, all right? Okay, there it is. This is the navigation at the top, trivias and the logout button is there. Like we can go and into the layout.tsx. There's trivias, there's the logout button. There's the main, which is the cart, and everything inside of the cart is basically the outlet. So this is the page, right? We have the games, etc. If I click into the game slash game ID, and which is the row in this table, only the game or only the cart contents change, right? So the app works 
just like before, but we get to name our files layout.tsx and page.tsx just like we would in Next.js. Now, is this something that I recommend? I would say no. You know, uh, Next.js is Next.js, 10 stack start is 10 stack start. I would keep those two separated. Like I wouldn't mix the naming conventions. If the naming conventions in 10 stack start dictate that we use route.tsx and index, I would just adapt myself to using route.tsx and index.tsx instead of doing this. I just wanted to show you that it's possible. So you do you. All right. I also want to mention that I'm going to be publishing a lot more 10 stack start videos starting today. So if you want to see more, if you want to learn more about 10 stack start or router or anything 10 stack, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. Keep an eye out. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care.